If you're looking for an Android OS for gaming, then you probably have heard about Prime OS. But is it really that great? Let's take a closer look at it and stick to the end to find out how to install it on your computer. So let's get started. The first thing you'll notice is how the interface is designed to be like Windows so it feels familiar. And the settings page is uh, like this, is similar to that of Android. And uh, the OS that is running on is Android 7, which is uh, Nougat. And uh, the Android 11 version wasn't really uh, stable for me. It was crashing a lot. So I just stick to this stable version for the Android 7. And the settings you can see. In the storage, you can see it's taking up the entire one because I've installed it as primary. And in the memory, it's actually consuming really less RAM. So it's really lightweight, uh, barely 1 GB of RAM. And make sure you enable all these settings so all the applications run without any issues. Um, the biggest uh, like the advantage is the Google Play Store and we also have support for the Netflix officially. And uh, we do not have to install it any through third party methods. It comes pre-installed and we have all the applications you can see you, if you want to watch an online classes. Uh, it's really good for the students and you have all the productivity apps. And most of them work without any issues, but might not all of them will work. And uh, so many of ask about if Geo Cinema is working because it provides the free uh, streaming. So yes, Geo Cinema is working here without any issues. And uh, it's, it's kind of shocking that it was working because uh, uh, a lot of the applications may you find uh, some issues with it. I'll show you later. But Geo Cinema is working here and you can easily stream um, anything that you want. So that's a good thing. And many of you ask about the Snapchat and this you no know, Snapchat does not work. It does not open up just stocks on this plus screen. So here we have uh, it's one of those apps that will not work. Also Instagram I don't know it was working before but right now currently maybe some kind of update. It's just not working anymore. You just try to scroll it and it crashes. So you have to trial and error and find out the applications that work or may not work for you. And uh, a lot of you have asked about the BGMI. So I don't know why it's not uh, like it loads up everything. We have the logo, you get this information and you even uh, get to the login screen, but it just shows you up with the error. And it's maybe because uh, it's not optimized for the emulator or if uh, they do not want you to play on the emulator so it just did not uh, open up further than that the login screen and these are all the applications that i've installed so after bgma you might think about call of duty and uh, unfortunately even the call of duty does not work um for me it was like activision logo was coming but then it was crashing so no even the Call of Duty is not working here. Um, we have the uh, uh, Free Fire also, which is one of the also very popular battle royale. And surprisingly, Free Fire is working without any issues. Yes, you can see we have this splash screen, we have the uh, logo and everything. It loads up very fine, and you can see it just starts playing. And uh, using the f f Free Fire, I can show you the features of the Prime OS. So if you go to the controls and edit the layout, um, you just need to press F10 on your uh, uh, keyboard and you will see the screen which is called the key mapping and this is the feature that makes Prime OS totally unique and uh, it makes it uh, uh, ideal for Android gaming. So you press and you just choose any of the buttons like this D-pad for the joystick and then a button for firing or uh, for crouch and jump and just press the keyboard key on the, your uh, the corresponding keyboard key that you want the shortcut for so just uh, yes just align it with the uh, controls layout and you can see in the training mode if we can have a better look how it works so you can see i can easily move my characters using the d-pad and can crouch and all so uh, but the firing one I haven't uh, configured yet so let's configure that so we can uh, choose the right click mouse and press it on the aim icon and the left one for the fire and now you can see 
that we can easily zoom in and fire so it's so fun to actually if uh, if only bgmi and call of duty worked it would have been so fun to play it because it feels like you're playing on a pc game so this is one of the coolest feature of prime os and you can really enjoy if you are into free fire then this is going to be really really uh, enjoyable for you and apart from that uh, you have the list of applications that will work and all the other games and stuff and also i've tried this hill climbing racing and it was also working of course service is also working and the good thing is that you have uh, like separate controls for all of these applications so the free fire controls will not uh, interfere with all the other applications so that's a good thing and you can try other games and see if it works um, some of them will not but most of them should work so that was the gaming on the prime os and uh, one thing i want to mention was about the chrome browser uh, so this is the i have updated it to the latest version and it has some issues so it will not it's not working as it's uh, supposed to you can see i cannot add any tab or close it um, i've tried many methods but it's not so what is the solution is to go to the chrome os page on the play store and uninstall the updates and you need to use the older version because it may be because of the android 7 limitations but now it is working fine so just uninstall the updates and you can use the chrome browser uh, without any issues so that was it for that uh, so now let's see how to install it on your windows computer so first we will visit the primers website and uh, we will install it for our s86 and choose the android 7 version and the mainline because android 11 version as i said is not uh, stable for me you can try it if you want and like i have so i'm just going to choose the android 7 mainline and download the iso and you can see on the bottom left it started downloading and with that we also need the roofers to create the uh, bootable pen drive so install the latest version from the roofers website and once we are done uh, you can see the uh, iso has been downloaded so you open the rufus application and we need to choose our pen drive so 8 gb or above should be fine and now we will select our iso which is the prime os so select that now in the partition scheme um, i'm going to choose gpt if you want to find out your partition scheme you need to go to the disk management uh, from the start menu and then right click on the disk uh, volume 0 and under the uh, volume you can see your partition scheme so for me it is gpt similarly find out yours and just choose it from here then press start and depending upon the system it should not take more time so start the process and uh, once it's finished you need to power off your system then press the boot menu key and the power on menu and uh, then you will uh, you see the screen you need to choose your pen drive so my is the third one then we will select the prime os installation the second menu and the installation has begun um, so, so here we need to select the largest drive that you see so this is the 457 gb and we will format it as xt4 so this is a uh, light um, kind of the primary installation so if you want to install it in dual boot you can check out my other video so press yes for everything that you see uh, like i have done you're going to install the grub menu so this will erase your windows and install the prime os as primary so you can see you can let's try it out uh, by rebooting to so see if the grub menu is working and uh, yes we can see our screen and this is the prime os and we have successfully installed prime os so like i said if you want to dual boot it check my other video and uh, yes that was how you can install prime os and that was also a quick review of the um the best gaming android os so i hope you like this one uh, comment down your any questions and i'll see you in the next one